What's up guys, today we're watching season 2, episode 5 of Breaking Bad. So, last episode was pretty intense. I mean, I felt really bad for Jesse the whole time, considering, like, he got kicked out of his house. Literally, none of his friends were, like, letting him stay with them. And it was so sad that he had to, like, jump a fence and go stay in his RV. It was messed up. And I just, it just made me mad, because he literally has no one, while, like, yeah, Walt has, like, family. But, I mean, even with Walt's family, they're, they're being, like, weird with him. And it's just, like, a whole lot of shit. And, like, adding on to the fact that, like, even after Jesse, like, found Walt or whatever, he parked the damn RV in front of his house, which was not a good idea. But with Walt, like, yelling at him and shit, it pissed me off. Because it's, like, he's already been a lot, like, through a lot this episode. And he needed a break. But... Now they seem like they're going to start cooking again and they're fine. We're going to see how Walt and Skylar do this episode because sooner or later I think they're going to freaking break up and get, in a, get a divorce. But I guess we'll see, so let's get into the episode. Wait, that was Hanks. From like that was two ghost, two ghost thing that they gave to Hank like as a present or whatever. What the fuck happened, to Hank? I literally thought I started the wrong show or something because I was like, who the fuck are these people? Is it like really starting to get to him now? And like making him feel like shit? Good timing. Uh, you'll start feeling better soon, more like yourself. And your hair should start to come back. Ah. Uh, kind of gotten used to the old cue ball look. <laughs> I prefer to think of it as streamlined. Right. <laughs> no more confusion? No more. No. No. Absolutely none. How are you two holding up? Obviously not good that she's not there. I hate those kind of situations because like what else are you supposed to do? All you're gonna do is stare at each other until it's done. Just a reminder. We do have a payment plan available, should you be interested. Oh. Okay. Wait, how much is it? Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> He's like, I don't know how to respond to that. So much for the gift. Been around someone who smokes? No. The hospital bill came. She's been the one smoking, but she's not gonna tell you that. Unless she kinda just did. Cause she did just say she wasn't around anyone that smokes. Since when do you have slippers? You don't seem like a slipper man. I was really confused. I'm like, why are you getting that shit out? But cash payments for his shit. Always with those different shots. Shh, 
she flushed a pack of cigarettes down the toilet. Of course, that's not going to last. Uh, we're waiting to see who's going to rally the roaches now that his turf's up for grabs. No takers so far? Well, we keep hearing a name, uh, Heisenberg. <laughs> if only you knew. How does Albuquerque liaison Tri-State Border Interdiction Task Force sound? They're trying to transfer you. As of the first, I want you to split your time between here and Albuquerque. Oh. I thought they were transferring him for a second and not just promoting him. Meet you morons downstairs. Try not to get lost on the way. Schrader. Yeah, hey, Ricky. How you doing? Yeah, I'm stoked, too. He's really obsessed with that damn gift. Even though it was, like, an important catch. Like... What the hell's wrong with him? You were, you were just fine. Calm and collected as soon as the elevator door opens. Does that mean he kind of, he's kind of scared or something? It seems like it was maybe like a panic attack. Or something. Not, not Jesse actually going back and like keeping his word. Or is he gonna keep his word? Balance for the uh, the tow, the repairs, and extra for you know, damages and stuff. To. He's up to his word. I really thought he was about to get screwed over for a second. Since he did do like a shitty thing, but... We could, you know, negotiate. month a week a week probably doable outside inside forget it and come on your fence is too easy to climb <laughs> inside padlocked plus gate privileges <laughs> gate in and out privileges you selling should take it for nine G's. He's gonna get a new car. Serious? I did not expect that, but I mean, work with what you got. That's what I've been looking for, that's what I meant. Um, I had an entire house before, attached and all, but I was just tired of the long care, upkeep and whatnot, you know? Why well, you gotta lie? Well, it might be embarrassing, but people can't judge you. Uh, sorry, what? In the ad? No smoky, no pets? You want a smoky dude outside? Uh, no, yeah, 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 no. Um, I don't know if he'd uphold to that. In between situations. And then I'm currently not renting. Look, look, I got the money and I'm totally good for it. For like ever. Come on, yo, can you please, please just help a brother out? But it's like, what if it didn't work out forever, you know? Or go run your game somewhere else. Dude, I got nowhere else to go. This is it. And I got no game, all right? I just need a chance. Give him a chance. Come on. He has the money. They kicked me out. I'm a, I'm a disappointment. Apparently, didn't meet their expectations. Look at him expressing the truth now. Rent just went up. A hundred more a month. That's the cash price. 
I thought he was about to be mad about that. But I mean, at least he doesn't have to go through that shit. Okay, so, uh, what's, what's DBAA? Don't be an asshole. Gotcha. I live next door. I don't know if he'll uphold that. Seriously? What? Why do I feel like there might be a little thing about to start between them? Bum, bum, bum. Schrader, bye. Oh, I was about to say something's about to happen, but it's just his wife. Call in sick the day after receiving a long awaited career boosting promotion so you can play Oktoberfest in your man cave. What's up with it, Hank? You know what? The thing might be too much of a reminder for him or something. So he's just gonna like go to wherever that lake thing was and throw it in there. That still seems like it's somewhat around like the place they used to cook at, but I know it's like not near it. I don't think. I don't think they're that stupid. Action of what we brought in before, but still, what choice do we have? If first of all, there's no we. Okay, you're talking me, solo, busting hum, slinging shards. Level of risk for chump change, no way. Then what do you suggest? I don't think either of us are eager to jump into bed with another Tuco. Are they gonna find someone else? I don't think they would. Cause that would mean they would have to like, split more money. After completing my first round of treatment and financing the world's most expensive alibi, huh? Zero! Zip nothing! Look, look, y'all both got situations. Selling whatever you can. <clears throat> There's a third way. And what would that be? What would it be? No, that's not the point. No, I am not willing to do that. Who said anything about you? He also came up with the plan too, like, and it doesn't seem too bad, but like, there are risks. Because I sure as hell didn't find myself locked in a trunk or on my knees with a gun to my head before your greedy old ass came along, all right? He ain't wrong. I mean, he's kind of hypocritical when it comes to it because even though he says it's a partnership, he seems to alter that kind of thinking every time something happens. Know why? Because we do things my way this time. Or I walk. At least Jesse is like standing up for himself in a way. Y'all need each other, but like. Good to see you, welcome to my humble abode. Good deal, mover, good deal. <laughs> Yo, Bash, hey. Oh, cool crib, man. That's probably one of his most like annoying friends. You are going to score big time. <laughs> All right, so uh, how about we get, you know, down to it. Some refreshments over here if you want to partake. He's having an old school type of party because usually his parties contain a lot more shit, but he can't, so. That's how it goes. I front each of you an ounce. All right, you sell it for 2500 I keep the two, you keep the five. No. Oh yeah, he's using them to do like the selling shit for him. Is up to you. So bring out the product, yo. No, 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 not here, all right, not ever. 
Blind drop. I will let you know when and where. It's so weird seeing Jesse take initiative. Like, he's like planned out shit. I was about to say who's the extra car for, but they're at Hank's place. They leave. The cartels, they litter the place with human heads. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure that's where I'm going. <laughs> it's like a calling. He's really seen to change this damn episode. To this fantastic real estate website for DC. There's just so much, I don't know. None of them look happy, like, Skylar looks fucking aggravated. It's like, everything's off right now. Apologize. Oh, for her stealing thing? Until you apologize. Reasonable, because you can't keep gaslighting her. Memory. Obviously, I don't clear lies. Just... Technically, Walt's kind of a gaslighter, too. Because he, he says he doesn't do shit whenever he actually does. He's pulling the same move. <sighs> I need my sister back. Why can't she do a simple apology? Like, she knows it's a problem and she's working on it, but like... I'm sorry. There you go. So, it... Was it... Scary? Hell yeah, it was freaking scary, you little punk. Jesus. And it's definitely hitting him now. Cockroach comes out from under a fridge. What do you do? I mean, don't think about it. Stop him down. I don't. I get someone to do it for me. They're all doing their business selling the shit. Why you got a long ass thumbnail? Look at Jesse's plan kind of working. They seem to be making hella money. Spoke too soon. Their plane's gonna start going to shit. <laughs> oh, she lied. They're cornering them. <laughs> what is up with you when you're fucking laughing? I hated that. God. New car? Yeah. Keeping things in the DL. I'm guessing this one doesn't bounce. Obviously not. He just got it. 16 ounces should net to me $16,000. 16. Not 15. Something came up. Oh, with the other dude who... Six grand a day we're making. What's your problem? What happens when word gets out and it's open season on these clowns you've hired, huh? I f I'm kind of like reasoning with Jesse right now. Like he is, he can't be happy with 15K. Like, yeah, there was some complications, but like, 
it also just started. It's like a new process. Shit's bound to happen. Be clear. Yo, I mean, seriously. What the hell do you want me to do? Huh? What can he do? Nothing. Like at this point. Huh? I don't know. I'll be back by nine. Okay. And I just thought you might have a clue where your son is. I don't know if it's just me right now, but I'm I'm kind of getting fed up with fucking Walt. Perhaps you might know something about this. You got caught. What you gonna say? Skylar, this, I mean, this, this is something that the, this is so unlike you. Oh, Why? Really? How would you know? Damn. What the hell is that? Is, oh, I was about to say, it didn't seem like she was in bed. Maybe it was just in his head. Or he's about to get kidnapped. Or some. Oh, so it was just those. But it seemed like that just happened, like, just that one. I thought something bad was about to happen. Look at him showing up at Jesse's place. I was about to say, I thought he was about to hold a gun on I want on you to him. handle it. I just got what he meant by that. He wants him to kill him. Okay, Walt. I guessed it earlier. It was gonna get too much and he's about to throw it. Bye bye present. That episode was something else. Walt though is pissing me off. I'm sorry to say maybe he's supposed to be like one of the favorite characters or something. I don't know. But right now he's pissing me off. Especially when he doesn't think that like complications can't occur throughout shit. Jesse came up with a plan. And he executed it, and yeah, there was a complication, but it's also new. He's just starting it out. You gotta give him some time. But now he wants him to kill him? I never thought that, like, what would turn that way. He doesn't seem to be that kind of person. But I mean, he's, that man's changing so much within, like, a span of episodes. It's like one minute, he's chill and, like, calm and collected, and then the, the next, you know... He's fucking going off on someone about some little thing. He's a control freak. And it kind of pisses me off. I'm just wondering, like, how that's actually going to happen, though. Because it's like, Walt just went up to Jesse and was like, you know what you gotta do. You're going to make Jesse kill a man? What if he gets caught? If you want someone dead, do it yourself. Because what makes you think Jesse's going to want to go do that, you know? Because he also has risks and shit too. Like, it's such a big thing. And Walt's mainly worrying about himself. And, like, I get that. But also, like, you kind of got to worry about your partner too. Because it's a partner thing. Even though sometimes it's not. But, I mean, at least Jesse has a new house. He has a new car. Sooner or later, it's about to be bumping. But... He's, 
he's okay now. And I feel like he needs to start making new friends because none of the people in his house let him stay at their place whenever he didn't have a house, but then they just show up at his house. Like, I know he he's using them so, like, they could sell shit, but also, like, you know, he kind of needs better friends. But is he going to find any? I don't know. And what's it called? Walt and Skylar, they don't seem to be getting any better. Their marriage is still in the decline because it's like, it's like roles are reversed now. Or it's like not, it is so complicated between them two. And it's like, sometimes I don't know who to be mad at whenever they're arguing or something. But in that kind of like argument thing, I was just totally pissed off with Walt because He's just trying to do too much right now. He's trying to criticize people for the littlest shit. And I hate it. But, I don't know. Right now, Hank seems to be in a bad place. So hopefully him throwing that shit away, like, helped him with his health. Because if not, then I wonder what other shit's gonna happen with him. Because he seems to have some, like, PTSD type shit. But, hopefully, yeah, throwing that shit helped him at least a little bit. If it didn't, I don't know what else he can really do. Go to therapy. It's not like he's gonna want to talk about it a lot. I mean, even though he did talk about it with Walt Jr., but it's different. But, I don't know. I'm ready to see how this shit just continues to go, especially with freaking Walt. I want to see how much this man's gonna continue to change, because it's kind of interesting, I'm not gonna lie. So, I guess come back for episode six.